Hi, I am Nathan Miller, and today I'm going to show you four neat ways to draw and create animations in Laser using Pangolin software. In this video, we are using the Pangolin Quick Show software and a Kavant Club Max 3000 laser to demonstrate these examples. In our first example, we are going to animate a corporate logo in Laser. To import our logo into Quick Show, go to the Quick Tools menu at the bottom and choose the Quick Trace tab. Click on Open Image, locate your logo file, and click Open. Click and drag the preview to an empty queue. Next, right click on the queue and choose Edit Frame Animation. To add excitement to the logo, we're going to change the colors of the whale and make the whale dive into the water. Right click on the frame and duplicate it. Select the water with the Select Object tool. You can hold Ctrl to select multiple objects. Copy the water to your clipboard using Ctrl C, then delete the water from the frame. Next, click Animate and set your frame count to 100. In the finished frame result, rotate the whale 180 degrees and click OK. As you can see, the Animate tool automatically generates 100 frames to rotate the whale. Next, we are going to alternate colors of the whale every few frames, add our water back in each frame, and blank points on the whale as it enters the water. On frame 3, choose the whale and select a color from the color palette, and then paste our water into the frame. Repeat this process through to frame 7. On frame 7, you will see the nose of the whale beginning to enter the water. Undo the water by using Alt Backspace. Select the Recolor tool and choose Black in the color palette. Blank the tip of the nose, then paste your water. Continue to go sequentially through the frames, changing the color of the whale, blanking points of the whale, and pasting the water up to frame 100. I'm going to cut the video here and return once I've finished with all 100 frames. I've completed the logo animation, and to save the animation of the queue, click OK. Click the queue to run the animation. In our next example, we're going to demonstrate another type of animation using the Advanced Abstract Editor. Right-click on an empty queue and select Create New Abstract. This editor is useful to create beams, tunnels, sheets, and abstract shapes. I'm going to use a solid circle and increase the size. You can also change the color of your shape. Next, I'm going to add a modulator effect. This effect adds a waveform to your base shape. You can also adjust the amplitude. And the number of waves. I'm going to increase the wave count to 6. also adjust the speed to make it go clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to set my speed to 50. You can also select a variety of waveforms for this effect, such as sinus, triangle, square, and more. I'm going to use the square waveform. Next we will add an oscillating zoom effect. You can adjust the speed if you like. I'm going to leave mine at 1. There are also options to change the way that the zoom bounces. I'm going to go with ping pong smooth.
Next, we're going to add a color effect. Adjust the colors in the color bar any way you like. I'm going to have it cycle from red to green to blue and back to red. I'm also going to increase the color cycle repeats to 6. There are also other options in here you can adjust to however you like. To change this shape from a solid object to beams, under primary shape, click beam mode. In our third example, we're going to demonstrate how to animate text using the frame and animation editor. In the editor, select the text tool and click anywhere on the frame to open the text editor. Type a message display and laser in the text box. I'm going to go with lasers. If your text is too big to fit in the frame, you can adjust the size using the scale X and scale Y sliders in the text editor. You can also increase the letter spacing. As well as the position and the alignment. When you're happy with your settings, click OK. Once you've clicked OK, you cannot modify these settings again. Click Animate at the top. Set your animation to 100 frames. And we're going to animate a scale effect, a brightness effect, and a rotation effect to bring our text in. To preview your animation, slide the slider in the animation preview window. Alright, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click OK to generate the animation. Next, let's add some coloring to our letters using the Paint Roller tool. I'm going to cut here and I'm going to come back after I finish my coloring through all of my frames. Alright, I'm happy with my coloring and now I'm going to click OK to save the animation to the queue. And click the queue to run the animation. In our final example, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw in laser. Start by opening the frame and animation editor. Select a circle tool, then choose yellow in the color palette. Next, create a large circle in the frame. Choose cyan in the color palette and create another smaller circle for an eye inside the circle you just created. Select the eye using the Select Object tool, and copy it using Ctrl-C, and paste it using Ctrl-V. Then select the copied eye and move it into place.
Using the freehand tool, choose orange and draw some eyebrows. You can also just draw one eyebrow and copy that and paste it and move it into place as well. Using the freehand tool, choose red and draw a mouth. Next we're going to duplicate the frame, select an eye using the select object tool, and choose the scale tool to start shrinking the eye to begin a wink. Continue to duplicate the frame and scale the eye until you have a closed wing. Once you have your closed wink, select the previous frame and duplicate it. Continue to duplicate the frames in reverse order until you have an open eye. Click OK to save the queue when you're done. And click the queue to run the animation. Some important things to consider when drawing in laser. The quality of the laser projector you're using is very important and will directly impact the quality of the projected images. The Club Max laser used here has a custom fabricated laser diode module with full analog color modulation and a high speed optical scanning system inside. The quality of your laser diode module is important for your color mixing to create millions of different color combinations and smooth color fades. The quality of your scanning system is critical as it allows the laser to nicely trace all the points in the projected images we created. If you have questions about lasers or are interested in finding the right laser for your specific needs, Pangolin can help. Visit our website below to learn more.